a baked acorn squash, sizzling shrimp, and tilapia, crowned with coconut-infused rice, is not a locally sourced dish in our area. For Armando Cristobal, his sister Silvia de Santiago, and her husband Gonzalo of Madison's Cilantro Restaurant, the dish is a nod to their homeland of Mexico and the upcoming Cinco de Mayo celebration. While the main dish is not local, the accompanying watercress salad prepared by Gonzalo can be sourced almost entirely from the Dane County Farmer's Market. He's going to show us how to make it. Okay, and who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Gonzalo de Santiago. Okay. And uh, we are here, uh, we're going to do a salad. It's a watercress, tomato, and uh, cucumber salad. It's very, very refreshing, fresh, mm -hmm. fresh products. Right. And right here, to mix all the uh, the olive oil with the with the with the vinegars, ah, okay. and you have to keep doing little by little the oil, and uh, ah. otherwise it's gonna separate. It's what you really want to separate. Right. We got here watercress. Okay. I love this watercress because. Uh, it's very fresh, very healthy too. Mm -hmm. A lot of, oh. Los otros to tomates. Sí, los Cortados. Are you gonna, gonna cut some tomatoes here? Okay. I'm gonna put the watercress first. He has the season already there. The dressing? Yes, you lightly seasoned it. Yeah, lightly. You don't want to put too much because it's a uh, little strong. Yes. You want to season the tomatoes too. Ah, okay. It has some flavor, you know. Nice. That looks like a really fresh water. Yes, it is. You want to put a little rolls of the uh, Cucumbers over here. Now you, okay, and you've peeled the cucumber. What exactly yeah. have you done with that? <laughs> well, you peel it first, and uh, then just roll it. You know, with the so you can do this just with the peeler. Yeah. Go. So and then just roll it. Oh, that's nice. See, and it looks very nice too. And uh, of course, you can eat it. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now we're gonna put a little bit of goat cheese. Goat cheese, is, um, it goes very nice with uh, all kind of you know vegetables. Sure. And uh, it goes, it's very tasty. Yes. And that is another thing that you know is pretty common. You can get that at the farmers market. Oh yeah. See, this is goat cheese. Okay. And now uh, by the end we're gonna use a little bit of uh, caramelized pecans. Oh okay. Just break it on top. And that's it, basically. Very nice. So you basically have got your uh, your dressing. Uh huh. You've got your uh, watercress. Watercress. Some cucumbers which you've sliced. Uh huh. Some tomatoes which you which you just wait just just made it. Made you can uh, you you can add a little bit of tomatoes in the end if you want to. Yeah. A little bit more tomato. And then you, and then you've got some pecans. Right there, yeah. Okay, and actually, anything, everything on that plate could be purchased, uh, including some of the vinegars, at the Dane County Farmers Market. Yes. The pecans are not. You're not able to get pecans at the market, but you can get hickory nuts and black walnuts. Just wanted to tell you, thank you very much for uh, being here with us, and uh, tell everybody to come to our restaurant and. Uh, Thanks for food. And we will be thinking of you when we make this uh, salad uh, tonight in our kitchen. Uh, we are we very happy for you to do okay. it. Curious, because we've never been to a Mexican restaurant that serves tilapia over shrimp and a baked squash, much less a watercress salad, we chatted with Armando a few minutes before heading out from the restaurant to find out more about cilantro's style of Mexican cuisine. Now we have just seen how you have a wonderful watercress salad. This is not usually what I think of when I think of Mexican cooking. 
And you're not alone. A lot of our customers are surprised when they come and see our menu and find the different interesting dishes that we offer. And as I tell them, we're not inventing any dish. They have all existed for years. It's just that this food belongs more to the larger cities in Mexico. Okay, so when I think of refried beans with rice and burritos and things like that, would I find all that here? It's a great comfort food. There are many restaurants that offer that country type of cuisine. Okay. And we are focused more on more refined sauces and dishes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you.